Why is she moaning like that? I had to do this. I effing had to. Okay. And why is that? This is the case of the Seattle zombie woman. It is so creepy. We're watching the zombie with the creepy ass clown music in the background. Yeah, we don't like the circus music. I'll put this video on talkmore.com. Definitely want to see it. It's not just one video. It made its rounds first in this video on TikTok. It went viral. I yes. haven't seen it. Well, then maybe it didn't. I don't know. But it well, was on TikTok. FYP, it's probably different. It was on TikTok and it got a lot of views or whatever shares. And then other people who have also filmed it also put it on there. The case is known as the Seattle zombie woman. This is it. I'll put this on talkmore.com. Why is she moaning like that? This woman is going through Seattle. I'll tell you the exact spot here in a second. But you see cops coming after her. And this is and it, there's surprisingly not a lot of information that came out about this. This, like why this woman's doing this but it was finally solved of who this woman is but this is her screaming at the top of her lungs she's limping she's only got one shoe on she's bloodied she's her face is black her ears are black she has patches of hair looks like she's pulled out her hair she's carrying something in her arms and it seems like it is is a fetus in her arms oh damn oh god we're trying to help you the cops are saying is she one foot barefoot yes yes yeah, she's only got one shoe on. All but right. she's not trying to like stop and converse with them at all. She's just doing her own thing. It looks like she's completely out of it. Okay. What? Well, so I first off, the first thing, tell me your thoughts. Everything. Who is it? I'll, I'll throw some potential theories out. Like half of her hair is missing. And from what the cops see, and we'll read the police report, the cop that actually goes up there sees that it looks like she has a clump of her own hair in her hand and she is carrying what what seems to be a dead fetus. Maybe she's a street performer. Um, maybe she is. So you think this is a an act? Oh, she could be. It could be. It could be an act. Um, she like she's could... trying to raise awareness of something. I, well, I, maybe not that she's trying to raise awareness, but there are sometimes, especially now in the age of social media, where um, you do anything for likes or for pranks or for things like that. She could be an actress. Um, she could be, mm-hmm. you know, being paid for her mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Um, or she could have, you know, it could be one end of the spectrum or another she could have a, a, some sort of disorder she could be a trauma patient maybe she's been through a traumatic event maybe she is escaping a situation let me read to you what some of the guesses are brandon says she on bath salts natasha says crocodile um which daniel says yeah basically a new form of it have you seen the crocodile Mm-mm. i don't Dude, unless we've talked about that it. shit is it's like acid it eats through your skin let me show you a video of it it's Great. fucking crazy excellent how do you spell this? With a K, right? K-R-O-K-O-D-I-L is what yeah. Natasha it's also, said. It's also big in Russia. They're like, these are the guys in Russia that do it. It like eats your skin away. Of course it's Russia. It looks like cigarette. Yeah, it's like a Russian thing. Yeah, there you go. Look. Oh, God. That's fucked. Look it's at like it. It's like flesh eating. Yeah, it, it eats through your flesh. Yeah, that's what crocodile is. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this, Jin. No. no. Look, Jin. No. Ah! They're pulling his skin off, Jen. Is that a foot? Yes. Let's do some. No, absolutely right. not. For, for a thousand, <laughs> for a thousand I, rubles. If I can get 50 likes, <laughs> we'll do crocodile. <laughs> right here. Absolutely oh, not. I will God. not. I will not participate in that. Uh, all right. So, all right. Who said uh, this is a drug theory? Or uh, Natasha said crocodile. Okay. Well, now this is Seattle. So. Well, if he said Crocodile's someone thought not- you were I, someone who thought she was OD'd and tried to steal her baby when she was passed out. Mm, that's an interesting theory. Now, the case was actually researched by a woman, and I'll show you her uh, YouTube account, but there was surprisingly no information. This didn't even make the news. It's so weird. Like, who is this? And it was it was the weird thing is it was so silent. That's uh- the weird thing because it's viral on TikTok and yet Nobody's talking about it. That so, makes it really like sketch. Well, it also kind of makes it for me less real. If it's not making the news, then it maybe it's more likely to be some sort of performance. In my head, in my head, <laughs> zombie. Yeah, there you go. Zombie. Um, hey, uh, hey, hey. Uh, Shram just says this is completely normal behavior in Seattle. So <laughs> <laughs> she's just like, this is just every day. There is no theory. Not there is just nothing else. There. There's. This is just Seattle. <laughs> 
That's her theory. <laughs> don't know why. I mean, like, <laughs> good coffee, but like. Is Seattle that people? fucked up, man? Really? Tech Holy industry. Shit. Don't y'all have like Jeff Bezos there and shit? <laughs> Which I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right. This is from Reddit. Seattle zombie woman, West Precinct Police Department. So the woman here actually was so worried. She she actually filed a Freedom of Information Act. A fellow Twitter user and I have been sourcing the Internet, scouring the Internet for more information about this. To be honest, I expected to find that it wasn't real. Probably a movie TV show. Well, it's real. Hmm. Both, of, both of us paid to be able to listen to the archive of the calls for Seattle PD via broad Broadcastify. Castify. So I'm going to show you those calls here in a second. But it's nuts. Is it not? Oh, my God. Let me see that woman again. She is fucked. Mm. Isn't that crazy? I mean, you see it. Look at her. It looks like she has face paint on as well. Oh, my God. Yeah. It looks like she's just burnt or something. I don't know. Amanda says, did trash TV make its way to America and she's been tortured? (laughs) Ah. Touche, Amanda. The dash cam videos are kind of, uh, they get kind of up close. Dash cams get up close. God. Oh my God. Is that not terrible? Is that not weird? I, I mean, it's 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 upsetting because it sounds like she's in, in pain or needs some assistance, but she doesn't sound like she's welcome to accepting any. All right. So from the police report, the first police officer that responded was an officer, David Jones. He saw this woman crying and screaming and the call came in. It said it looked like she was, quote, carrying the remains of a bloodied child. Officer David Jones gets there crying, screaming and bloodied. She was carrying something wrapped in a bloody T-shirt. Her head was was mostly shaved or pulled out except for a few patches of long brown hair. I'm going to read this is from his police report. Quote, she was covered from head to toe in blood and had what appeared to be black soot and vomit on her face. Black soot in her mouth and ears and a few strands of hair left on her head. Officer Weissmiller later informed me he observed she was holding a clump of her own hair in her hand. Jesus Christ. It it appeared that her hair had been torn out. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) This is fucked now. Yeah. (laughs) One time I was um, on an airplane and I saw someone. She was in like the row in front of me and she had the thing like. Trichotillomania? Yes, where she was like. Pulling pulling, out her hair? Pulling out her hair. and, And I was like. Oh my God, I can't. Ooh, it skeeved me out so yeah, bad. Yeah, I mean, it's a real thing, but and to, to have it so bad that your whole head is... Anyway, go on, John. Oh. Jesus Christ. But yeah, she had like bald, like you, it was like shaved close to her head in patches. I guess it was like because it was growing back. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't just pull out your. I mean, I guess you could, but uh, no. Like if your anxiety is that bad. Oh, no. This is the body cam from the cops. Yeah. What the police are doing is they don't know what her injuries are. So they can't arrest her because they could, number one, they could get attacked by her if she is on some kind of drug. Is it dr- drugs is obviously a theory, right? Mm-hmm. So but she seemed like she was in need of some assistance, but she was not allowing them to kind. assist her. Yeah. What do you think of this, Jen? Ah! So her face is painted? I think Jen mentioned Look, yeah, that Yeah, it looks like her face is painted. Painted? Well, or white. torn off? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I feel like if it was torn off, it'd be all red and muscly. All right, let's look at this police report. This is the actual police report. Dispatch broadcasted the call of a female walking eastbound on West Barrett Street. Has blood running down face and legs, screaming, limping. No weapon seen. Dispatch later updated that the subject was crawling on the ground. I ran emergency code to this call. Prior to arrival, I activated my body worn ICV. The report is intended as a summary of events. I have paraphrased conversations and do not include an exact sequencing of events. Yada yada. So this is the police report. Now, why is no one ta- like, why did the news not pick this up? Now, I know it's a police report. You got to go through the Freedom of Information Act or whatever. But still, I mean, you think this would make the news? Well, I mean, I don't really know the area of Seattle that well. But like Shram said, I guess that's kind of everyday. no. Fucking really. Or maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe people are just like, oh, it's just somebody tweaked out, you know? All right, when officers tried to initially contact, and obviously you're seeing here, this is redacted, her name. She turned around and let out a guttural scream. Ooh, yeah, that was a guttural scream if I'd ever heard one. So when they tried the first contact, quote, she turned around and let out a guttural scream. <laughs> 
She yelled out no multiple times and yelled at us to leave her alone, appeared to be completely disoriented as to where she was and did not answer any questions. She refused to stop walking at the request of the officers on scene due to the apparent nature of her injuries and her disorientation officers detained her for medical screening. She went into a fetal position on the ground before trying to leave again. She was restrained and Seattle Fire Department was called. Mm. Crazy, right? All right. The ambulance arrived and she was taken to the Harborview Medical Center under the Involuntary Treatment Act. Here's the theories. Elaborate prank is a theory. Okay. However, that's kind of eliminated because the Seattle Police Department showed up and and were heavily involved. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but there's also no local coverage. Could it have been a chemical attack? Someone asked on Mm. on Reddit. That's a good question. This guy says, I have a theory that it was some kind of chemical attack more common in Europe. Like what? More common in Europe? Like what? <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no on that one. Yeah. Attacked by a dog. So this is from the Sun. People thought that this was a case from 2007, but obviously TikTok wasn't uh, around back then. Although they do tend to bring up old clips and reshare them. But oh, really? Yes. But this was the case that uh, people thought it was. They thought this was video of the woman. This woman here, uh, if you want to read this, this is from the U.S. Sun. My my hell. My psycho ex scalped me and beat me unconscious in a two hour ordeal, then kissed me and handed me a bag of my bloodied hair. She oh. looks a lot like the woman in the video. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people thought it was her. This is fuck. Let me mm. look at this woman. So this is why you got to really be careful who you date. Anyway, but that theory was proven wrong. It's not her. That wasn't her walking. Another theory that I saw was an acid attack. We, we've we heard cases like that. We've never done one, but some jealous woman, poor, is always a woman, pours a thing, a vat of acid, you know? So this one says, this from Reddit says, thought the same. The shoes seem new are not worn many times. Also, the clothes, her hair must be ripped out, but not at the same day. I guess an acid attack would look different, like the white flower on the face. So that's what the face was. The You said it was makeup. It looked white. That is uh, the, you know, acid, like acid, yeah. like it turns white. So it's the same thing. Mm, okay. So she got acid thrown on her. And if the baby head is real that, that was, she was po- carrying, that yeah. she was ca- that she was carrying, the process of decomposition seems also older than on the same day. Also, the media is so silent means that the investigation is currently running. It's horrible. I hope they can give her medical treatment she needs. I hope her pain goes away so that she can find peace. And I hope the person that did that to her will be found. Mm. So those are the theories. So what is everyone? Going going out right now i don't know i'm still kind of in limbo on my guess no we well, we're not moving forward jen until you make a i'm still guess. gonna guess it's it's drug related all right drug related acid i mean i i yeah i guess something happened to her someone did something to her all right let's finish watching the body cam investigation god that scream is terrible this is hard to watch god it really is all right so i'm gonna kind of narrate over this so what you're seeing now is the body cam footage she is blurred out i'll put this on talkmore.com but she's blurred out to to protect her identity and this video was attained by this youtube channel her name is rebecca ms she actually filed a freedom of information act to get this video because everyone was worried it's like what the fuck happened Happened to her like she was here and now she's not mm. so she filed the freedom of information act it took a long time but she finally was released the body cam footage of the the incident in question and that's what i'm gonna read you natasha's theory real quick tortured like the fritzel case like she was tortured and escaped oh shit yeah mm. that's like an interesting mm-hmm. theory yeah the only thing you can audibly hear her say is like no when they're like fire's gonna check you out and she says no no She's not incoherent. They ask her, Kinda. do you want us to help you? And she says no. So she's answering the question, right? Is that what you're well, trying to say? Well, she said fire's coming to check you out. And it sounds like she says no, but that's all you can hear her say. She's just screaming otherwise. It looked like she's saying, leave me alone. Leave me alone. The officer does. Does she have her tongue cut out? I don't know. It sounds like, I mean, she's not really, she's not enunciating. So, I mean, maybe she could have a tongue cut out. Like, uh, uh, you can't. Interesting theory. Could be. They say your tongue's the strongest muscle. It is. 
Oh my god! They just threw her on the ground. No, she no, fell she to the ground. Fell. No, was... she went to the ground. They were trying this to help her, and she went police. to the ground. All right, what do you see now? Is that real blood or fake blood? One of the cops says, "Is that real blood or fake blood?" So does that change anything? I mean, they probably can't see where the wound is coming from if it's coming from her at all. Well, I mean, I, I she do does have say a that... huge gash in her ankle. I will say. I okay. hope that this isn't real. Like that was my initial thought was that it was some sort of performance. I hope that's the case because I don't want anyone to suffer like this. Well, if it's but... a performance. Then why is the cops here? Because they don't. They know. don't, like, know. You don't know. If someone How called far in, is she you going? don't know. Go on. The cop says it almost looks like fake blood. So she's trying to crawl away. She's trying to get away. We see the fire department in the background coming. Jesus Christ! It's yeah, this almost is hard. Yeah, dude. M- bad respect for you, fucking cops that are dealing with this shit. <laughs> Especially if it, if it's this bad in Washington. Fuck, dude. Fuck that shit. Give me a give me a cop job at the beach, yo. <laughs> Fucking all of bones, you know, deal with sharks. Fuck these humans. She's rolling on the ground. She doesn't give her name. They they find out her name once they run tests on her at the mental hospital. Like I said, she was involuntarily admitted using the Involuntary Admittance Act. I guess it's a real act <laughs> or whatever. All right. So right there. Is her face burnt? No, it's makeup. It's almost like zombie makeup. She can't be faking this shit. I mean, this is Seattle. It happens every day. <laughs> He's like thinking about his Life other choice. job choices. <laughs> job opportunities. <laughs> it's like maybe HR would be better for me. <laughs> it ain't. Mm-mm. Jesus fuck, lady. Holy shit. All right. So they do. So fi- what is she carrying? Okay. <laughs> You guys act like I just strung you along or some shit. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I know you. <laughs> All right. So they actually did find out who she was. Uh, do you want me to tell you her name and everything? Yeah, uh, give us a well, detail. Actually, actually all right, but yeah, don't rush me. All right, read this police report then. On closer inspection, it appeared that the blood covering was fake and the soot on her face was makeup. Blank was only wearing jeans and a thin cut off shirt with no bra on, exposing herself, which was abnormal for that time of day and unusual attire. The SFD arrived on scene and assisted in medically screening her. SFD stated they did not detect any major injuries. SFD stated that they agree that the blood was abnormal and there was makeup on her face. Uh, Blank said that they did not know where she was before this current time, could not provide her name, did not answer if she had eaten or drank anything today, and said she did not remember if she was with anyone. It is undetermined at this time why Blank was covered in the material that she was covered in. While waiting for AMR, the most coherent response that Blank gave to the questions were that she did not want to go to the hospital and that she was going to die because they vaccinated me. (laughs) (laughs) She... Said she did blank not know who they were. All right, all right, this is dumb. I corrupt. Uh, so this is is this uh, a COVID vaccine? <laughs> I didn't know. Prank? I didn't know it was at first, and I don't. I don't know if it is now. Okay, don't fucking don't don't get mad at me. I went through this whole thing just like y'all just went through. Not knowing. I said from the beginning it was a performance. <laughs> did anyone? I mean, you like did. I did. You did. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, no. Guys, what, man? Keep going. No, Go I'm, I'm, I'm very interested why this person decided Shrimp to do this. Shrimp says, again, welcome to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Tina, Tina just goes, OMG. Um, All right. This girl's name. This is her right here. I'm sorry I strung you guys along, but this is fascinating. This was fake. Her name is Kimberly Kasai. She is a makeup artist. You see there, it says, book me. So... <laughs> In her bio, does it mention that she acted like a zombie? Her Facebook does, which she later t- took down because she got in trouble for this. She lost her job and everything for this. But I will say, what a fucking remarkable job she did. Standing <laughs> they ovation. vaccinated me. When uh, w- uh, one part of the video, she screams, quote, I'm not your lab rat. <laughs> I love it. That's we, the title. We, we missed we missed that. I can go back. But this is her right here before, you know. That's her uh um, like we don't see it because she's blurred out, but that's Yeah, but you see like- no you see her Kimberly and Kasai. That's her Instagram. And this is her. So she's a makeup artist. Yeah. So she was doing a zombie makeup thing for like a movie. Right. And she decided to just fucking take the performance on the road, baby. <laughs> and she did fucking great, but <laughs> She got in some serious trouble. (laughs) Hey, man, I know it's not a murder, but this shit, you know, it was big. You know what? 
No, I love it. <laughs> hey, we needed that after the last episode, yeah. so the, it's a perfect little little palate cleanser. She is kind of looking at her social media pages. She is uh, kind of you know the government is out to get us COVID shit. Now I will say I don't care what your vaccination policy is. I didn't know that that was what this was. I had no idea until she said they vaccinated me. <laughs> Wow. And then I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> that does make sense. And then you're like, well, I did all this research, may as well. Literally, literally, because I started at the beginning where everyone else starts. And I'm like, God damn it. How am I, I going to make like, this a I mean, like, how probably super frustrating for the woman who went through all that trouble to, like, get the footage released with the Freedom of I Information know. Act. She's, like, seriously concerned <laughs> about this woman. And it's like, ah. Uh-huh. Is kidding. This is them going to the Seattle Film Institute right here and asking them if they know. Then when they knew his makeup, they went and was trying to find out, did one of your extras, I yeah. don't know, escape? <laughs> escape? It was really good makeup. It was. So the 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 soot was actually soot or charcoal. So she took charcoal and and I'll show you. I mean, charcoal is a very common ingredient in makeup and, and skincare. She covered her face with it. She chewed it to get it in her teeth and mouth. And then she actually cut out her own hair and glued it back to her scalp with the patches. That's fucking commitment. That I is know, commitment. Right? <laughs> but here's the cops talking about it. Like, I think why don't real people get nominated for Oscars? I mean, dude, you know, I mean, apparently she's like home jobless and broke now, but because no one's going to hire her. Or maybe they will hire her because she did such realistic job. So that was a good theory. She may be into cosplay and took a tr- crazy drug. I don't know. What do you guys think, man? <laughs> That's my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? I mean, even the cops are like, dude, I'm fucking fooled. Yeah. I don't know. But, I mean, it, it's like, on one hand, you're <laughs> glad that that isn't a real situation because this person could have been in some sort of intense trauma. Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, like... How many how how much how much how many of our resources went into trying to help this woman when there yeah. could have been another serious call? Yep, and you 100%. only have so many people on hand at one time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like it's it's a double edged sword. There really is no good answer. I, I'm kind of I kind of is it bad that I kind of hope she was penalized in some sort of way for but she was she a lost false her... alarm. But she didn't call the police. That's Someone what I'm else saying. Like that, but that was the like that was her intent. But no, no, she th- like what did she think was going to happen? But she didn't. She went out and didn't know that she was going to be viral or anything. You can't you can't mm, know that I. I think that that was the intent, though. Like, the intent was to get somebody's attention. The intent, like, she she could have stopped the act when police, yeah, police yeah, came yeah. and fire yeah. came, and she did not. She kept going. Yeah, and so, true. like, that was part of the whole point. She could have been like, oh, sorry, guys. Like, didn't yeah, take sorry, it this, this far. Just a whatever. She kept going. Yeah, because, I mean, like, it's the, it, what's the difference? I, I guess my question before you just said that, and I agree with you, is that, like, what's the difference between her doing her thing and the people that are dressed in, like, spray paint and chrome that are statues? Statues, living statues come to life. You know what I mean? Like there's a well, perform- they're not, there's wait, per- yeah. Yeah. They're not there's like- a performance. There's a there's a distinction between performance art and then like uh, abuse of your resources. Like she could have been like, oh, never mind. Like I'm good, and they could have gone about their day instead of spending so here's twenty she- more minutes with the fire department. So here she is, and this is kind of interesting. This photo of her. This is her right here. Totally different, obviously, but that's her. You know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. She did waste resources, but shit, she fucking killed it with the fucking shit though i mean look at this jesus christ was her job through a makeup some sort artist as a makeup artist so it was related to what she did because it doesn't if she matter. If, well if she has a job all right so but though like if if this was on her off day if this was a saturday here you go jen doesn't matter i'm not your lab rat <laughs> this is her so i mean it's all fake kind of fucked i didn't mean to string you guys along man but you know i did uh, uh, and <laughs> so, and depending so, on the, the state's law like particular laws you can be let go for any reason. Mm. And so especially if you're an at will state. Yeah. Which South Carolina is, mm-hmm. you you know, you, you, they don't have to have a reason. The point is to not be fired um, because you are perhaps in like a protected class or something like that. Yeah. So she rep like a- as any individual, whether you like it or not, you are a representative of that organization and company outside of work. And so if they felt that she misrepresented, they don't have to have a reason for it. They can Even just in say Seattle. Yeah, she did get fired from her job. Then there, it's they don't. I don't know. I don't know Washington's employer law, but yeah. But it's crazy because matter. she only got fired 
when it came out that she was they didn't know who it was obviously until this lady and luckily i mean because dude this was not big but i mean people were wondering like what happened to this woman like who is this well, is she okay i mean this you perfectly know, th fine apparently this youtuber went you know and went as far as got a freedom of information act and got all this stuff you know i mean yeah. she was worried so i don't know i hope you guys Great enjoyed story. it and yeah. uh we'll see you next time uh next week and until next time good night you lovely lovely people